Well, Happy New Year, folks. How y'all doing today? We made it into 2021 finally. Um, I don't know if it's going to make that big of a difference, but we'll see. We'll go with it. If 2020 taught us anything, it taught us how to roll with the punches. But I wanted to share something with y'all this morning. Um, I use a lot of seasoning in my, um, what I fix for dinner or whatever. And if you were to just, and I'll hide the label so people don't think I'm being funny. But if you were to just go buy this jar of seasoning, you're going to pay anywhere, depending on where you get it, three to six dollars for this jar. And this particular jar is fennel seed. I love fennel seed. It goes wonderful in fish dinners. It does wonderful in chicken. It goes wonderful in meatloaf. Um, not everybody likes it. It has a, a um, almost a licorice taste, but you don't put a whole lot. You just put a hint of it. And like I said, this jar, I think this jar, I paid almost $6 for it whenever I bought the jar of it. But since then, I have discovered seed, I mean, seed things by bulk. And HEB has a wonderful selection here in town, Basic Foods. Also, wonderful selection of, of bulk seeds and bulk spices. And you know they're fresher because you don't know how long this sit in a hot warehouse somewhere. But not that we know anything anyway, but whatever. We ain't going to go there. But anyway, 4 to $5. I just refilled this jar for 50 cents because I buy it by bulk. Can y'all see? One ounce is 50 cents. That's quite a savings. I use, I don't use a lot of combined seasonings because I usually, you can see my seasoning cabinet back there. I usually have everything that they go into it. But this particular one, um, HEB sells it in the jar if you want it. And they also sell it by bulk. It is called a Tuscan Sun Seasoning. has so many herbs in it. And um, it doesn't have salt in it. You have to add your own salt, which is one thing I look for. But I just refilled this jar. That if you were to go buy this jar, just like this, you're going to spend about $5 average. I just refilled my jar for $1.39. So, for instance... Um, the hamburger helper that you buy has in each package, if you buy one that has, um, I don't remember what it's called now, but it has a cup and a half of noodles in it, and then a seasoning packet, and then a powdered something, but you take your cup and a half of noodles off your shelf, brown your meat, put this on it. Add your uh, chicken broth and your noodles in. Let it cook a little bit. And then stir about a cup of whipping cream in it. That's good stuff. And you don't have any added nothing. You're not adding all of that crap in it. Um, I'm fixing to can strawberry jelly. My second son takes it to work almost every day in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I'm getting ready to, and I was in, normally don't buy strawberries this time of the year because they're terribly expensive, but I was in Kroger just as he was marking some down for 99 cents a container. So I got three containers for, what is that, 99 times three, $1.97. Two ninety seven, two ninety seven, um, and by the time I got finished cutting all the bad parts off, because when you bring stuff like that home, put it in a sink bowl with cold cold water and about three tablespoons of vinegar, and let them sit in there, and that kills all that bacteria. But I ended up with just a little over um, two containers left after I cut all of the the bad parts off. Um, if you're making jelly, 
and you're buying pectin like this, you're right. You're not saving any money. Um, can you make jelly without pectin? Yes. Yes, you can. But it is tricky, tricky. Um, I can do it. Uh, the raspberry jelly that I put on top of my uh, cookies, I put it, I do it without any pectin at all. But I buy pectin in bulk. This is 49 grams of pectin. And if you know me, you know I do grams. This is 49. I just measured out 49 grams out of this. And you can't even tell where I made a dent in it. And this is about half of the container I bought for a little over nine dollars so my cost per batch of jelly using this is minimal uh, it, it, it's it's in the pennies um, if you want to start saving money on your grocery bill that's what you need to do um, watch going to Sam's because you may not be saving any money. Um, you have to watch. Because what they charge you for that big thing of toilet paper, you could buy six of them at Walmart cheaper than you're buying that big one. You've got to compare the price. But, and, and, and a lot of times their fruits and vegetables are not inexpensive. You're just, you do, you do, you do. We just ain't going to go there. But watch what's in season. Um, like right now, apples are in season right now. Did I show y'all my apple butter? I got six of these. Isn't it pretty? Pretty apple butter. It's really, really good. And I also canned applesauce. Okay, if your family eats a lot of applesauce, you do not need all of that corn syrup and artificial flavoring and everything in applesauce. You don't need it. Um, this way, you, you don't even need sure gel for this. And you don't need a canner. You can use a water bath to do applesauce. Um... The way I do applesauce, I did a video on it not long ago. The way I do applesauce is I don't even peel my apples. I wash them good with soap and vinegar water, rinse them good, quarter them. Don't even take all of the peels and core and all of that out. You don't have to unless you don't have a food meal. But And I put that to boiling, and when it's tender... This is my food meal. And when you get finished, it removes all of the um, peel, seeds, core, all of that. It removes it out. And you're left with just pureed apple. You can add sugar or not add sugar. Depends on which apples you chose. You know, if you use, like I used a lot of granny in this, and it's going to be really tart without some sugar or honey. But if you use, uh, like, Pink Lady apples or Honey Crisp apples, you're probably not going to need to add any sugar. And you just bring this back to a, a, a good simmer, put it in warm jars, and can it. And you have applesauce that doesn't have anything added to it. You don't need all of that gunk. And I'll tell you why I say we don't need all that gunk. Our bodies are fighting a battle right now with all of this extra crap we give it from our toothpaste to our shampoo to applesauce. We are being bombarded by what you breathe and eat every day, anywhere from three to 5,000 chemicals. And your body's having to fight that off. In addition, we now have this COVID crap running around that your body has to fight off. Um... So, give your body a little little rest and quit giving it all the fast food and prepackaged foods because they're not good for you at all. Um, 
save a little money buy prepackaged seasonings they have a huge selection there um, they have rubs that you can put on barbecue. They have all of these, like I get the the Tuscan Sun herb mixture. It's really good. Here her comes. Here her comes. <laughs> anyway, I'm fixing to can some strawberry jelly. Then I'm going to put some collards to cooking. I have black-eyed peas. Need to soak them and put them. I'm not going to cook very many because Madam doesn't eat very many of them. What? What are you doing with my whooping crane? Sampling the merchandise. Alright. Wait, what, I, what don't I like? Black-eyed peas. Not a lot of stuff in it. By stuff, she means onion, garlic, bell pepper, celery. Yeah, see, you don't need she it. Well, does. celery, I'll let the celery pass. Celery, let the celery I'll pass. Let the celery pass. All that other stuff. You don't, you don't need to be adding all that, all that other stuff, man. No, 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 no. They have the flavor themselves. What is that? It gets it in there. She just don't know. Look, man, if it's in powder form, that's cool. I just don't want to eat it. It's a texture. Y'all go have a good day. My water's almost boiling over there underneath my water bath. Bro, I think they What are to, you doing? They forgot to put the preparation. No, you're just on the wrong place. No, I'm not. It says pull. They didn't put the prepara preparation in. Bye, y'all. I may do a video here in just a minute and show you how to do strawberry jelly. She's going to do it. Y'all might as well just stay tuned for the next episode. You know what? You sound like those little twerps on, on TikTok. Oh, God. No. They're so mad that the old people have taken over their their thing. I don't know who that they is, but I'm not on TikTok, woman. I like TikTok. You have to wade through the... You have to, do some blocking and wading through the crap. But, and every once in a while, you'll see more of a woman than you really want to see. I'm going to tell you this. I don't think children belong on Tiki Talk. What is this? Ew. Pancetta. Bacon. Bro, that's not bacon. Oh, that's corned beef. Because I, I, found, I found a loaf of rye bread on clearance. So I got... Make me anyway. I'll talk to y'all later. Stay tuned for the next episode.